Hello everybody, this is Brandon with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion. Also founder of Fellowship of Universal Truth Yogic Ministries. We go live again tonight, so if you're watching this on Sunday, 6 p.m., um, we're going live there on Facebook. Um, let's get into it today. So whatever you want in life, you have to tune to that vibration. Period. That's it. That's the whole game, folks. Um, God, source, goddess, however you define it. It really, um, it, it strives to give you what you want, right? Now, us in our human animalistic minds, sometimes it's tricky. Sometimes we think we know what's best for us, right? Um, and this is the reason why the surrender piece is so important in the spiritual journey, because without that surrender, then we're just jumping from thing to thing to thing that usually isn't the best for us. It may seem great. It may even seem like it gives us temporary happiness. But that's the thing. If we're clinging to something temporary, if we're adjusting our vibration to something temporary, eventually, even if that thing is good, it goes away. What's that mean? Causes suffering, causes pain, that attachment. Now that thing's gone. Or we attach to this something that's not good for us, and that causes suffering straight from the gate, right? So all of these ways, they're animalistic ways of thinking. So eating, um, reproduction, defending, sleeping, these are all things that all animals do. The thing that makes humans different than that is our nervous system, our ability to tune our vibration to different levels. Animals, they operate at the same level that they've always operated at. And guess what? At one time, why are they so majestic? Because it reminds us of who we used to be. Anyways, with our human system, what we can do is we can tune to the vibration we want, which is why distracted society makes it even harder to find spirituality. Because the more options that are out there, believe it or not, the harder it is because that's more things we have to close out. It's the reason why your brain doesn't fire um, completely open all the time because you would see so many different things that would distract you so much right now. Um, even our thoughts make entities that actually have physical form that, that can be visible. However, our brain puts that out. Why? Because if you saw those all the time, you'd be even more distracted and you need less distractions. That's why mindfulness really works to bring you there. So essentially what it is, is you need to choose what it is you want to experience and put your whole energy into raising to that vibration um, or lowering if that's your choice. If you're still in that learning stage, which is what I call suffering, that's fine. But if you want to transcend that, you have to put it on the highest high, the, the deep internal Atman, the one that does not change, that's not temporary, and then you'll find bliss. That's the key, folks.